live now with the answers. And state health officials say they're already working in New Hampshire's health community. The main goal to act fast if a patient comes into any New Hampshire medical facility with Ebola symptoms. The message from state health officials, New Hampshire is not immune. The public health director says with travel open between African nations in the Ebola zone and the U.S., there is a possibility a case could surface in New Hampshire, just like it did in Dallas, Texas. There is the possibility that we can have somebody who uh, was there, was infected, comes here and developed the disease while here. Dr. Jose Montero says the state is providing Ebola educational material to medical workers. Some webinars were already held, training on how to make an early diagnosis and quick initial treatment. Another online training session is planned for next week. ERs in neighboring Massachusetts have also been preparing with additional training, like drills for putting on personal protection suits. The Bay State confirms it has. Had some suspected cases, but patients tested negative. I think there's a lot of confusion about that. Yes, we've had Ebola suspects. All of them have ruled out. Infectious disease experts at Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center in Lebanon are monitoring the Ebola outbreak. Here, isolation units can be used to treat patients with highly infectious viruses. Doctors at Dartmouth and state health officials are confident New Hampshire and the nation can prevent an epidemic. We're told for years the state has been practicing for health emergencies. That includes Ebola. We assume that possibility as a real one. We plan for it. We prepare for it. And as of tonight, Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center is still considering sending at least two physicians to West Africa to help health care workers there. We're told they'll monitor the situation before making a final decision. Live in the studio, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.